Okay. I want to see how far this bottle will roll with one revolution. Now I've got the center of the bottle lined up on the edge of the keyboard and I'm gonna roll the bottle till the label is dead top center again. Okay. Measure from the edge of the keyboard to the center of the B there. Or the where where I sighted it was the left edge of the B. About right there. 125 millimeters and the the bottle itself but if you can see the uh, that's the diameter of that bottle is stretching from from the 4 to the 8 so that's eight, 80 millimeters minus 40 so that bottle is 40 millimeters in diameter Goes pi times forty or forty millimeter diameter of the bottle, and we get one two five, which sounds a lot like our measurement. You roll a circle on a flat surface, and the circle turns exactly one revolution, then the distance it'll travel is the distance equal to the circle's circumference. Imagine having two coins of equal circumference. You would think the answer might be one, but you see that when the coin rolls around halfway, it's already rolled around one time. When it rolls around the remaining distance, it will roll around a second time. So we can solve this problem, and we'll see the correct answer is that circle A will roll around n plus one times. The reason is that circle B has n times the circumference, and that'll account for n times that the circle A revolves around itself. But then we will also get one more revolution, because circle A is also revolving around the center of circle B. So the correct answer is n plus 1. It's a pretty interesting problem. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon.